and welcome back. Today we have more predictions. Um, they're coming out a day later than I wanted them to, but here they are. Um, just to recap, last week I had an amazing week. I got 13 right, 3 wrong, um, which puts me I, throughout these first two weeks at 23 and 9, which I say is not too bad. Um, then at the end, I always do the bet predictions. Um, last week, three of those bets would have I got correct. One of them I missed, which puts me at eight and two with getting the bets right versus wrong. Now into the actual games. Later tonight we have the Miami Dolphins going up against the Jacksonville Jaguars, and I have the Jaguars winning that game. Uh, Miami's just—they're Miami. They're very, very little chance. Very, very little chance of them winning. Um, next. 49ers at New York Giants on Sunday. 49ers going to win. They could be missing all 53 players and still beat the Giants. Next, Washington football team at Cleveland Browns. Um, I want Washington to win, but Cleveland's a little bit too talented for them. That's, that's what it boils down to. Cleveland's going to end up winning this one. Um, next, Cincinnati Bengals at Philadelphia Eagles, and um, I got Cincinnati. I said Cincinnati was going to win last week. They didn't, but they didn't look bad. Um, against Cleveland, did not look horrible, and Cleveland is a much better team than Philly. So, well, not much better, but a better team than Philly, so I think Cincinnati will win their first game this week. I'm hoping for it. Um, next, the 2-0 Las Vegas Raiders at the 1-1 New England Patriots. I have the New England Patriots winning. I know everyone's shocked. But, um, yeah, I don't... Las Vegas is by far the worst undefeated team. But they're, they are undefeated for a reason. Now, I think it'll be a decent game, but the Patriots should win this one. I feel fairly confident about that. Um, next, Chicago Bears versus Atlanta Falcons. Um, Chicago's also a surprise undefeated team. And Atlanta's, I don't know if I'd say surprise 0-2 team, considering they had two tougher games to start off with. But um, I'm going to give Atlanta this one. I think they'll get their first win this week at uh, against, against Chicago. Um, now, probably one of the best games... On um, of this early slate, uh, at least on, not just all of Sunday, Los Angeles Rams versus Buffalo Bills. I know it's not the big name teams, but they're still both undefeated, and they're both very good teams. But um, sorry, Bills fans. Oh, oh wait, I'm, I'm not sorry. Yeah, Los Angeles is gonna win. That's that's what I have. Their defense. They have Donald. They have. Um, Jalen Ramsey and then on offense you have Goff you have McVay calling the plays you have two amazing wide receivers you got a nice running back core I could probably on, back to defense they have an amazing defensive line great secondary whereas Buffalo has solid quarterback play solid running back play Stephon Diggs um, decent O-line, very good defense, but it just doesn't compete with um, what the Rams have. Then probably the second most, well, maybe the, probably the third most interesting game of, um, on Sunday, second most interesting of this early slate, um, Houston Texans at Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, Pittsburgh's undefeated, and Houston's yet to win. But Houston has also played Kansas City Week 1, Baltimore Week 2. <sighs> Pittsburgh has played New York Week 1 and Denver Week 2. I think there's a, there's a slight difference in uh, the skill level uh, between those four teams. And that's why I'm going to go with the Houston Texans to get their first wins. Get the first one. 
going into this year, I was very high on Pittsburgh. I thought they were going to compete with Baltimore in the AFC North. But after watching these first two games, I have lost not all confidence in them, but a lot. Their defense hasn't looked as good as I thought it would be. Their offense has a turn, at least one turnover in 25 straight games. That's not good. And that's why I'm going to go with um, Houston to get the win here. Uh, next, I have the Tennessee Titans against the Minnesota... Well, I don't have them. The NFL has <laughs> the Tennessee Titans against the Minnesota Vikings. And Tennessee is just going to literally run over Minnesota. Like Minnesota's defensive line is will not be able to stop Derrick Henry. And if by some chance they can... Their secondary is not stopping A.J. Brown and Johnny Smith. Oh, and Ryan Tannehill's throwing to him, who has one of the better passer ratings in the last two years. Tennessee is going to win, plus their defense. Actually, their defense isn't bad. Their defense is not bad. Um, but I do expect Minnesota to score some points. Um, next, Carolina Panthers at Los Angeles Chargers. I have the Chargers getting the win here. Um, they thoroughly, I, they've they've surprised me. Well, surprise probably isn't the best word. Um, they confused me um, this year. Um, in week one, they should have lost to the Bengals. But in week two, two, wait, which was week two? Sorry, um, they should have. They very easily could have beaten the Chiefs. So, I <laughs> I don't know what type of Chargers team is going to come out. But I just know it'll be a team that's better than the Carolina Panthers. So, I have Carolina winning that game. Or, sorry, I have Carolina losing that game. San Diego wins that game. Los Angeles, dang it. Sorry, Los Angeles wins that game. Um, next, New York Jets at Indianapolis Colts. I'm not a huge fan of either of these teams, like in terms of having them win, but um, the Colts are a little bit better. Um, they have Philip Rivers, and uh, mainly, as I think I said last week, they don't have Adam Gase, so that means they're going to win. Um, next, uh, Dallas Cowboys at Seattle Seahawks. This isn't going to be good for you, Dallas. You barely beat a team that Seattle fairly handily did. And then Seattle went on to beat the New England Patriots, who just about everybody says is better than you, plus they have a legitimate MVP candidate in Russell Wilson instead of your number four quarterback dude. Seattle's going to win. I, there's Seattle's probably, I think, they're definitely a top two team in the NFC. Um, it's either them or the Packers, I would say. Are the t are those two are the two best teams in the NFC, and Seattle's gonna win this one. Um, next, Detroit Lions at Arizona Cardinals. This will probably be the biggest blowout this week because Detroit has not liked to play defense so far, and Arizona and Arizona's love to play offense, so it's not gonna. <laughs> It's not going to end well for Detroit. Uh, next, I have uh, we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers against the Denver Broncos. Jeff Driscoll looked pretty solid against Pittsburgh. That's as good as it'll ever be. I that's he has no Cortland Sutton. His best receiver is a rookie, which isn't always bad, especially since it's Jerry Judy. But for a Backup veteran, that's not necessarily who you want to be a number one receiver. Noah Fant should be a fairly reliable target, um, but Tampa Bay is back to full health. Chris Godwin's coming back, and I don't think it'll be too close. And then, this isn't even the game of the week. The Green Bay Packers at New Orleans Saints isn't even the best game this week. This week is absolutely amazing. Um, but the Green Bay Packers at New Orleans Saints, I am now officially scared. I don't think New Orleans is going to make it. I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. 
Okay, that that might be that might be a little bold, but look how they played without Michael Thomas. Like Drew Brees looked like he could only throw it three yards, and then the rest of the team just didn't show up. Something's between that week one win against Tampa Bay and Monday night's loss against Las Vegas. Something happened where New Orleans switched places with 2016 Cleveland. So I'm giving Green Bay the win here. I do think um, I do think it, it, won't, it won't be a horrible game, um, but Green Bay's offense is just... Their offense is just too good. Like You don't know whether it's going to be Aaron Rodgers killing you or Aaron Jones. Like you can, you have to do your best to prepare for both. And if like the very best that comes out of that is they're both good, not just one's great and one's decent. So like I think the um, the Vikings probably prepared too much for the run, got destroyed by Aaron Rodgers in the pass. Detroit then prepared for the pass, got destroyed by the run. So pick your poison, New Orleans. Then the game everybody's looking forward to. Kansas City Chiefs at Baltimore Ravens. Pro- probably the two, if not best quarterbacks in the league. Two most electrifying quarterbacks in the league. I would say best, though, because if you look at the MVP awards, last year was Lamar, the year before was Patrick. The two best QBs in the league. Um, I guess you could throw Russ in there. Well, we're going with it. Two best quarterbacks in the league. Now, before watching that game on Sunday, I thought for sure Kansas City would win. Then Sunday happened. And now... Lamar Jackson is going to beat the Kansas City Chiefs, prove that they are the best team in the AFC and the NFL, and just, they might not lose again. That's probably not true. But whoever wins this game will, might have, might go undefeated. Like, this is by far the toughest game on both of their schedules, and it's going to be absolutely amazing to watch. Uh, it should be, oh, I'm I'm gonna say it's gonna be fairly high scoring. Both teams have so, at least solid defenses. Um, Den, uh, not Denver, Baltimore's is much better than Kansas City's, but on the other hand, Kansas City's offense is much better than um, the rate the Ravens' offense, and that's how you know Kansas City's offense is good because the Ravens' offense is about here. Well, so let's see. So we have the Jets down about here. Then the Dolphins, and then like the rest of the NFL. Then you got the Ravens, and up here you got the Chiefs. But it's about the same thing with defense. You got the the Jets, then the Bengals, and then about everybody else. Then the Chiefs and the Ravens. So it's it can go either way, but I think Lamar's gonna uh, carry. Well, he's gonna put the team on his back the final couple minutes and get Baltimore to a win. Now for my bet predict predictions, I have three that should be fairly easy, fairly easy wins. Um, uh, the so starting off, the Los Angeles Rams are plus three. Um, this is the scariest, scariest one on the board because um, they are playing Buffalo, who are could just uh, Josh Allen could throw for a thousand yards in a game, and I wouldn't be too surprised. But um. But I do have the Rams winning, so a plus three, especially when I have them winning. Of course, I was going to include it on this list. Uh, then the 49ers are four point, oh, uh, four point favorites against the New York Giants. If they don't win by more than four, I am going to be very disappointed. I know, at least I'm pretty sure Garoppolo isn't starting, and Nick Mullins is, 
but I think that actually opens up their playbook a little bit more because Nick Mullins can move his feet and still throw three yards and hand the ball off. Why did they do this to begin with? Yeah. San Francisco just started Nick Mullins. He'll be just as good. But yeah, I have they're gonna win by more than four points. I don't care who's in there, you're beating you're beating the Giants by more than four. Um and then finally who are the Jets playing? So I already forgot. Um the Colts. Okay, that's why I don't have one. Yeah, sorry. Uh, next, I have the Cardinals at uh, their six and a half point favorites. As I mentioned, Detroit hasn't liked playing defense. Cardinals are going to win by more than more than a touchdown, or at least a touchdown. So that's all I got. Um, please leave a like, subscribe, um, yell at me what I got wrong down below, and um, I'll see you later. Adios.